Andrew's going to start us off in California. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Dave, I'm great. How are you? Better than I deserve, sir. How can I help? All right. So uh, I am <laughs> I'm on uh, baby step seven. I'm investing now. Uh, 21 years old. I'm in the military. So living in a room, I have no mortgage. I have a Roth IRA open with Vanguard with $12,000 in it. Uh, but it's in a money market account and has been since I started deployment. Uh, what should I invest in? <laughs> okay. Well, good. Good. So you're in baby step seven because you don't have a house, house right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Good. What's in baby step three, Andrew, real quick? What's your fully funded emergency fund amount? Uh, <laughs> I have, I just actually came back from deployment with the USS Nimitz. Uh, so I actually have, uh, yeah, you should have a lot. I, I have a healthy, yeah. I have a healthy, okay. uh, little checking account. Yeah. How much is in your uh, healthy about, checking account? Uh, about $34,000 and then another 12 in savings. Good yeah. for you. So. That's, that's well, really thank good. you for your service, sir. Yeah. We appreciate your service. And thank you. That's quite quite a uh, an assignment you've been given, and uh, very very well done. So what we teach is to invest in good mutual funds. It's what I have done for forty years, and what Anthony does, and what all of us here do. Uh, we invest in growth stock type mutual funds. There are four categories, and we split it evenly across those. And that's what you need to get in touch with Vanguard and move into those four, or get in touch with one of our Smart Investor Pros. To help you with that, they are not people that work for us, but they're people that we recommend that will do things and they will teach you, which is really important at your stage of investing for you to start learning because investing can be a little bit intimidating, can't it? Oh, for sure. I was looking at uh, looking at the, my account today and I was seeing a lot of uh, terms that I didn't really recognize <laughs> Yeah, as I was, I was looking at it. Uh, one that caught my attention was... Uh, U.S. growth stock with a three thousand dollar investment minimum. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was thinking about going into that one, but mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't understand it. So that's good. Don't don't put yeah, money in really something you don't away. understand. Yeah, and Andrew, I think the key thing here, what Dave is saying, what I want to tell you as a young person too, is um, that I like the fact that you're saying, "Hey, I don't understand this." Well, it's very important to remember what Dave said. Find a financial advisor. Uh, and I'll say this. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, certain people. I want you to go to one of our smart best pros because they're going to spend time with you and teach you everything you need to know. I'm not going to speak negative about Vanguard, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to give you as much one-on-one training as our smart investors will. And it's important for you at your age to really get the knowledge while you're investing your money. And yeah, so, so ask the good questions. Yeah. The, the nervousness that you feel with anything new is wisdom. Mm-hmm. Like the first time you get behind the wheel of a car, you've never driven a car, it's ner- you're nervous. The first time you do X or Y, ride a bicycle, whatever the metaphor we want to use is. So the fact you don't know what you're doing is and makes you nervous, that's that's wisdom. But that that's also says you got some learning, and the more you learn, the more comfortable you are, and it will become like driving a car, where yeah. initially you were nervous, but eventually you develop a level of competency, uh, and you learn the terms and you're you're very comfortable with them. The good news is if you sit down with a smart investor pro with the heart of a teacher, they're going to teach you. Now let's start with that where you were a minute ago, okay? A growth stock mutual fund. Now what a mutual fund is is think about anything that's mutual is a group of people. So a mutual fund is a group of people funded a fund. And so you put some money in, I put some money in, Anthony put some money in, right? It's a mutual okay. fund. Mutually funded. That's where it comes from. Okay, that's a mutual fund. Okay. Instead of buying a single stock, whatever they invest that money that we mutually funded into tells us what kind of mutual fund it is. And so if they invest that money into bonds, then it's a bond mutual fund. If they invest that money into companies, stock, ownership in that company, and these are companies that are growing, we would call those growth stocks right? Okay. And and if it's a mutual fund, it would be a growth stock mutual fund. In your case, it was U.S., which tells us one more thing. Where are all these companies, Andrew? 
the grand old United States of America. There you go, baby. <laughs> and so if it were an international fund, it would have some, it would have only funds that are not U.S., companies that are not U.S. If it's a world fund, then it's the whole world. So it's got some U.S., some foreign in it. But in your case, you're looking at American companies only that are growing and it's multiple different companies, 90 to 200 different companies that will be bought in there, and people mutually funded this fund, including you, and so you own a piece of, a whole bunch of pieces of, little bitty pieces of growth companies, companies that are growing, and that will grow your money like about 10 times as fast as that stupid money market account you're in. So that's your first lesson, dude. This is how you learn it. Well done. I'm proud of you. And again, thank you for your service. Click SmartVestorPro at DaveRamsey.com, and we'll get you lined up.